Disturbing discovery. Police confirmed the body found at a Cockeysville recycling plant earlier this week had been dismembered. Hello, everyone. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Denise Koch. Baltimore County Police have now identified that person. But they say they are not ready to release the name yet. Workers found the body while sorting recycling last Tuesday. WJC investigator Mike Helgren is live at police headquarters in Towson with the latest information. Mike. Well, Vic and Denise, this person we've learned has family in Maryland, and police were able to make a positive identification with very little to go on. They only had this person's torso. Baltimore County Police confirmed to WJZ the body discovered wrapped in a tarp at a recycling facility in Cockeysville earlier this week had been dismembered. The head, legs, and arms all gone. It's so early on in this investigation that we cannot rule out any possibility, including any possible gang affiliations. Police also say they have identified the victim and are in the process of notifying next of kin. Now that we've identified the person, we will investigate aspects of that person's life to determine if there was something going on, enemies that they had. A source tells us workers heard a loud thump. They tried to grab the object, but it was too heavy. Workers had to pause the belt to remove it. They initially thought it may be a Halloween decoration or a mannequin. When they learned it was a body, they contacted police. It's disturbing because this society is not really doing well. That recycling facility, one of three in Baltimore County, serves a large area, taking in recyclables from not only Baltimore County, but also Harford and Cecil counties. Police are now trying to track down where the body was dumped. As far as looking for additional evidence, such as the limbs that are missing from this torso, yes, we are looking for them. Um, but it's not pertinent to the investigation necessarily that we find them. And they're not sure they'll ever be able to find them. They are trying to look at surveillance video in this case, and they don't believe this was just dumped into someone's home recycling bin, but rather a recycling bin at like a, an apartment complex or a business. Reporting live in Towson, Mike Helgren, WJZ.